Hi guys, this is Aikumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will see how to create a routing in Angular and how to use them and how to configure in our Angular application. Before understanding the routing configuration, let's understand what is routing. Routing is nothing but you will be handling some set of pages with the different URLs. When the URL changes, automatically our route component should change. Instead of using ngif and show and hidden conditions over the components, we will be trying to use this hand angular routing so for example if my url is login then login component will be rendered if it is register then register component will render and uh, if it is dashboard then dashboard component will render and this helps us to navigate from one place to another place or one component to another component but whole routing configuration can be handled only with one particular component so that is the reason angular is called as single page application so let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code and let's configure our routing configuration. So before going to the configuration part, I just want to show you one command whenever we are creating an application, then it is our responsibility whether you want the routing or not. So for example, if you are going with creation of a new Angular applications, then you can use a command ng new and the name of the project like sample and you can give hyphen hyphen routing. And even if you don't give this routing, just hit enter it will try to ask you some questions like do you want to use routing or not hit enter so if you see here it is asking you whether you want that routing or not already i have configured this particular project with angular routing so whenever you hit s it will be creating one particular file called as app routing if you see here there is something called as app routing and this is a one more module other than app module if you go to app.module.ts there is all the set of modules in the same way we have some routing module where you will be configuring all your routes here in app routing and if you see here it is also an ng module and it has an imports and you are trying to export all your route modules and where we want to use this route we want to use this route in our root module what is our root module app module is our root module so that is the reason let me go here and inject our routing module here so let me use routing module so that is nothing but app routing module let me save this whenever you import this module already it is imported i think we can remove this and you can see here app routing module is imported so let me go to that app routing module and we have a root array so these are the routes where you need to configure all your components before going further i want to configure my components first now i will just create some set of components where i want to route for example i want to route with some set of components like login let me create a component ng generate component and the component name is login and hit enter so what it will do it will create a login component and it tries to update your components list in your declarations of app module because this is the only module as of now we have and now let me go here and create one more component called as ng generate component there is something called as register component and let me hit enter so it will create the register component and that register component is added onto your declaration part of app module now let me create ng generate component when there is no route matching with this for that sake i am creating not found component and let me hit enter so it will create a not found component and that will be configured in your app module so let me go here to our routing here what i want to do is i want to configure the routes how to configure the routes each and every route array will have an object inside this object it has something called as path so this path indicates what is the URL you are giving and where it has to navigate and which component should be loaded. For that sake, let me use login. Login is my path and let me go to the component and the component is login component. So now whenever the user hits login, it has to go to login component. And in the same way, let me go and create a path where it is register path. And now the component should be something like register component and there is something like not found we'll talk about not found in couple of minutes but before going further let me run this application already it is running in the another terminal and it is compiled successfully let me go to the browser and if you see here i am going into slash login but the login is not rendered yet it is in the url of login but you are not able to see any of the output so to see this output what we can do is just go to app.component.html so we have to 
create a placeholder whenever the particular route matches then that component data where it has to render that placeholder we have to give and for giving that placeholder in our HTML that is root HTML app.component.html there I can use one element called as router outlet so whenever you use this router outlet whatever the component which is matching with this particular path that component content like this if you go to the login.component.html the content whatever you are seeing this content will be replaced in this router outlet and if you see this paragraph it will be acting like a common path which will be rendered for all the routes so let me save this and go back if you see here I mean login angular 15 launched this is a paragraph which is common for all the routes and login works so if you see here login works is coming from this login path if I give register and hit enter you are seeing register works that means the register component is render and again it is a common part so whatever you are writing around this router outlet that will be acting like a common UI so here in this case this paragraph is a common UI so let me go here and let me inspect this go to the console and bit zoom now let me give some path which is not there or not configured in our app routing so let me give one two three four and hit enter if you see here uncaught can't match any route URL one two three four can't match any route URL 1234 segment so what it is saying is I don't find any configuration with 1234 please go and check your app routing module so I'll go to the app routing module in case if nothing is matching with this particular routes then what should render then I have to show a path where when you give the path as double star that indicates no path match found so now let me go to the component and inside the component let me use not found component save this whenever the user gives a path which does not matches with the route configuration then this particular component will be rendered let me go here and if you see here it went to not found because my URL will be something else so let me use ABC enter not found and if you go to login again so login is already configured so it will go into the login works so whatever I am changing on the URL if that particular route matches with our routing configuration then that particular component will be rendered here there is one more thing for example if I remove this login and hit 4200 which is a base URL then the base URL is also going to not found works actually speaking whenever you give a base URL something should be default URL whenever the user give the base URL it has to navigate to a particular route so for that sake we have something called as default path so it also looks the same way but when the path is empty then I can navigate that fellow to login component or there is an another option redirect to whenever you have the same type where you want to redirect that particular path you can give here by using slash and there is some option called as path match where it can be simple like prefix or full I want to go with full why because it has to match exactly with this login so let me go here and reload now it is working and let me go here and give the base URL alone and hit enter it is redirected to login for example if you want to redirect to register just copy this registration and paste here save this then whenever you give the default URL then it navigates to the register or redirects to the register so this is how you can configure your routes this is a default route and this is login route and this is register route and then it is not found route this is the way how you can configure let me summarize all the configurations so first thing is your root module should have a module that is nothing but your route module and that route module should have one array of routes which are configured each and every route inside this array will have a path and a component and also redirect to or path match if it is a default and then whenever the, this path matches then there should be a corresponding component which has to be rendered and where it has to render it has to render at a placeholder so let's go to the root HTML and configure the placeholder wherever this route outlet exists all the component details of that particular path will be replaced with this route outlet and that will be showcased here if you see here there is no route outlet tag the route outlet is just a placeholder and if you see here 
for any route our app.component.html is the place where we are showing the content that means it is just managing the content based on your route if I go to register instead of router outlet it will show the register component if I go to login it will show the login component that means the same page just the content is getting managed and moving from one one content to another content that is the reason this is also called as content management system or the second thing is single page application here we are using a URL and navigating from one page to another place in the next video we will try to configure our routes on a button clicks and how to transfer the data from one page to another page hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off